What do you know? Philippe continues to be defiant. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest of Philippe that is bringing some very heavy rain to a lot of the Leeward Islands before it lifts north out of the Caribbean. Then I'm going to have a full tropical update for you on the entirety of the Atlantic. And then lastly, toward the end of the video, we're going to break down a big, big cold front, the biggest of the year so far, at least the season, I should say, for the United States. It's going to usher in the coldest air of the season. Also, the potential for a little bit of severe weather as as that front kind of plows right on through. Before we get into the video, if you do want to stay updated on all things weather, especially as we continue through the peak of hurricane season, the rest of hurricane season, we moved into October and there could be more development uh, in the Atlantic further down the road, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. Give this a thumbs up if you find this content helpful. Also, I want to know where you're tuning in from. Post that in the comments as well. All right, so here's the latest on Philippe. It continued to drift further west than anticipated again last night. And as it did that, it roped in all of its thunderstorms, all the deep purple there, that's the deep convection on the southern end of the storm. Philippe has obviously been a weird storm. We've talked about this at length over the past week. The center is up here. It is not a healthy looking tropical system. It doesn't matter though, because it's still dragging its thunderstorms along and it's still producing flash flooding throughout a lot of the Leeward Islands. Anguilla has seen some of the heavy rain. Antigua and Barbuda seeing the heavy rain. Dominique, uh, uh, Dominica into Guadalupe. Martinique also has seen the very heavy rain. This is extended down towards St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. We've also been in on the heavy rain. Eventually, through the course of October 3rd and then getting into October 4th, Tuesday into Wednesday, we are going to see improvements as the center of Philippe drags all those thunderstorms back to the north. So we're going to be watching that closely. I want to show you a close-up view here of the radar. We'll get you closer in. This is as of uh, about 11.30 or noon Eastern time uh, on October 3rd. So I want to zoom in further here. Guadalupe, we're seeing the heavy rain. Getting into Dominica, we were seeing the heavy rain through Rozo. Look at that, just stream up. And again, all of that rain is... And a weird spot. It's on the southern end. Again, it's been poorly organized, but it doesn't matter because this is all super, super heavy rain through all saints. And you see that curl there as we move up towards the Virgin Islands, some heavy rain coming through the U.S. and uh, the British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. We are starting to see some of that very, very light scattered action. Don't think we get too much heavy rain in Puerto Rico, but we are going to see some as we get that pinwheel. Look at that curl on the northeast side. We'll continue to see some of that rain push through. Before we get into the latest track, I do want to show you um, the... I do want to show you the model forecast of when this heavy rain leaves the island. So there we go. You clearly see uh, Guadalupe, Dominica, into Martinique. All the heavy rain that continues through the early stages of your Wednesday, October, or your Tuesday, October 3rd. This is Wednesday morning, so tomorrow, October 4th. Look at all the heavy rain right through here that continues to lift up out of the Caribbean. By Thursday morning, early on Thursday morning, this is completely out of here. And I think we are going to see improving conditions for the Leeward Islands on Wednesday. But as we get into Thursday morning, that's when we really start to see this thing lift north completely. What is really weird about this, and I want to show you the latest track here from the National Hurricane Center. Again, barely hanging on to tropical storm status. It doesn't matter. It's bringing us some very, very heavy rain. But notice the change again in track. Remember, it was last week where the official forecast again had this thing kind of dying out over Puerto Rico. Now look at it. Also, not expected to reach hurricane status anymore. The environment, that's what we kind of said. The National Hurricane Center had it getting to there. We were talking about the environment not that great as it lifts to the north. Nonetheless, no longer expected to be a hurricane. But look at this. Now a post-tropical system coming back towards Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and maybe even the northeast corner of the United States. I want to show you the models on this. Again, this thing has been one of the most unpredictable storms in recent memory. The steering flow, as we talked about last week, has been very, very light. Rena impacted its direction as well early on in its life because of the interaction between the two storms. Remember yesterday, in yesterday's video on the 2nd, we talked about it like this. Now the models again are back here, kind of taking it almost due north, close to Bermuda, maybe getting as far to the east of an upper level system kind of pulls it back towards the United States. But it looks like now 
it's going to be heading towards Nova Scotia as a post-tropical system. So we are going to be watching now the evolution of Philippe, which should be on the weaker side again as it lifts north. Still, we've already seen what it can do in terms of dumping all of that tropical rain over the Leeward Islands. So we are going to continue to watch. But again, improving conditions through the day on Wednesday, tomorrow, October 4th for the Caribbean. Wide out view again. We can clearly see where the rain of Philippe is hanging to the east of Puerto Rico, closer toward uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. Again, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. All of that is going to lift to the north later today and through tomorrow. The rest of the tropical Atlantic is nice and quiet at this time. We do have a tropical wave uh, working off of Africa. No indications that that is going to develop. And as we continue to get deeper away, uh, further away from September, that season tends to shut down. And as we talked about in yesterday's video, beyond Philippe, the Atlantic should take about a week to 10 days off before we start looking for additional development again in the tropics and that is likely going to come somewhere over here that's where we're start, going to start to look for the Atlantic to becoming favorable, favorable again by the middle part of the month of October. So that's your tropical update again still watching for flash flooding through the Leeward Islands later through Tuesday and Wednesday before we start to see improving conditions. To the United States we're going to have a huge storm system come through. There is the ridge that is going to build out west, a ridge of high pressure that builds towards the western part of the United States. And then here is the big dip in the jet stream. You see it kind of like that bowling ball working across the country. So ridge out here, trough out here, sending the colder air down south. Look at what it does to our temperatures by the weekend. We could have uh, our first frost across parts of the upper Midwest on Friday morning. Look at the cooler air kind of spill through Saturday into Sunday. This is Sunday morning at, at 9 o'clock. And as we get towards the 40s on the model, again, high pressure going to be building, clear skies, calm winds. Would not be surprised if we have multiple areas, especially to the northern plains, uh, upper Midwest, Duluth, Glasgow, Montana, getting into Fargo, uh, North Dakota. Areas in the upper Midwest and northern plains that could get into the 30s again and really have our first shot at frost. Look at that on Sunday morning. Detroit, a nice cool 55 degrees, 57 in Burlington. And then by Monday, this is when the core of the colder air arrives. Detroit, low to mid 40s. Wouldn't be surprised if outlying areas in eastern Michigan also get back to the upper 30s. That's where we're going to have the core of that cold kind of settle. As this front progresses from west to east, it is going to have the opportunity to produce some severe weather. Uh, Fargo, we mentioned you about getting cold, cold behind uh, this system. Sioux Falls, Omaha, Dodge City, all under the gun. The highest opportunity for severe weather are going to be in this enhanced risk area throughout western, central and western Kansas, from Dodge City to Hayes, Kansas as well. So just be on alert. Good day to stay weather aware on Tuesday afternoon and into Tuesday evening as this big time cold front that is going to bring the coldest air of the season to the United States, no doubt, works its way through day by day across the country. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay updated on all things weather, including the rest of hurricane season, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that and we will catch you next time.